Well, Baron here, and thank you for joining me. May this video be a blessing to you, and may it honor and glorify God in His kingdom. This video is going to be a commentary on a news story that I found uh, being reported by the Young Turks, and I'm going to include a link to their video. The news story has to do with a, uh, a guy in, the, uh, in Alaska who, I guess, is being appointed to or being considered to be appointed to some judiciary committee. And it's discussing some of the things, some of the comments that this guy had to say regarding premarital sex. Apparently, he would outlaw adultery. That if somebody was married and uh, had an affair, it would be considered a, uh, against the law, that it would be a criminal act. And then when asked what he thought about premarital sex, having sex before someone is married, then what would he do? And he responded that that's something he would leave up to voters, but that he himself would vote that it's a crime. So we're talking about someone who would uh, put people in jail, or, I don't know, fine them, whatever, if they were having sex before they were married, and especially so if they were married and had an affair. Well, rightfully so, the guy from the Young Turks is basically saying this is ridiculous, and and I agree with him. There's no way that the government should be involved with in declaring something an illegal act when it comes to sin. And that's what uh, Scripture calls an act like this, that it's a sin. And while it is a sin according to Scripture, Christianity, and God, it shouldn't be considered a, uh, a law punishable by the courts. And so while I have a problem with this, I don't have a problem with stopping support of such things. In other words, common law marriage. In Canada, common law marriage carries with it the same benefits as someone being married. And so I wouldn't have a problem with, you know, we stop this supporting of common law marriage. But there's a big difference in not supporting something and making it illegal. I don't believe we should help support and able certain acts, but we also should not call it uh, an illegal act. Now, this guy in Alaska saying that he would make it illegal, I think is giving Christianity a bad name. It is not biblical to do so. When Jesus stopped capital punishment for the crime of adultery, he was basically saying, it's not up to us to punish someone for committing sin. Rather, that's now up to God. No longer are we under this uh, conditioning, this law that requires us to punish people when they sin. And Christians must realize this. We, we cannot condemn someone and stone them or punish them in any way for committing a sin, a sin of any kind. Now, when it comes to murder, certainly, there are things that we have to do, but that we have to protect people. But again, there is a difference between making something illegal and endorsing it, supporting it. And so that's why I say, as with the case of homosexuality, I don't think we need to support it or should be supporting it, but neither should we make it illegal. And the same is true of common law marriage. We shouldn't support it, but we shouldn't make it illegal where we're going to jail someone if they're caught having premarital sex or if they're caught having an affair, an adulterous affair. I mean, the things that this guy is proposing really is ridiculous. I like the idea, mind you, that he is standing by and showing his faith. Uh, I like that, but there is a point of going too far. Uh, just while I'm kind of talking about law and that kind of thing, I would like to just touch on something that I've talked about in another video, and that has to do with uh, uh, the idea that the church is a non-profit organization and that it should have all the tax benefits that it does. This is something else that I disagree with. I don't think that the church should be able to, to call itself a non-profit organization. I think this is actually hurting the church. And the reason is because its members, the congregation, is giving money to the church, supposed to be giving from their heart. 
but because of the tax breaks that they receive, a lot of people are giving for the wrong reasons. And churches are growing and prospering when, in fact, they shouldn't be. A lot of people think that these churches are prospering because the hand of God is on them and protecting them and helping them grow. When, in fact, it has nothing to do with God, but rather the world. It is the world and the government that is sustaining the church, not God. And for this reason, I would do away with this idea that the church can uh, claim itself as being non-profit and receiving all kinds of uh, uh, benefits from the government. I know I got into uh, uh, something else other than from the original uh, video, but just something I thought might be discussion worthy. What are your thoughts on this guy in Alaska, you know, up for a government position and uh, going to be working with the uh, Judicial Committee. Do you think he's going too far in stating the things that he did, or perhaps maybe you support him? What do you think? As always, I look forward to comments and messages. Till next time, peace and blessings.